Lay it down. Go, go, go. You dare. Got it. We did it. We beat the dragon. Drake. It's just a Drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but yeah, we will get there someday. Huh. Remember, she's got a thing about a dragon right now. Oh. The flames of purification. Might you be the shepherd? So, you must be Marlin's. Guardian Seraph Rohan. Ah. Or should I say, I was. I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. Protect it anyway. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess. I'll give you that. You can see me? Mm-hmm. Yes. I have pledged myself as Soray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Uh... I see. 
And you're okay? The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? Mm-hmm. We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. I want to help, too! Thank, Thank you, you so much. It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the blessed domain. You got it! Norman Power! Huh? What's this? What happened? Didn't work. There's still a mega powerful Hellion running around near here. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state? With your guards all a-sleeping and your Hellions all a-creeping? Saray! Whoa. Sorry, I just blanked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. I would imagine he doesn't need a break. The young shepherd starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? Sweets are so good. Especially after a battle. I'm guessing what's this? I'm guessing that after a lot of like work like that, it's gonna really take its toll on Saray. Kind of like um, Colette's transformation to become the chosen. Uh, it's probably going to start, like, destroying his body. Um, ooh. Me want. Good. How are you feeling? Right as rain. Good. We don't need a sick shepherd. That'd be bad. <sighs> and precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> Looks like we've got our saray back. Hmm. I wonder. The shepherd. Oh, look. Perfect timing. Agil. We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar. Well, you know. You know? Well, whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Huh? Me? What are they making me sign for? More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Nafe. Huh. Oh yeah, don't you owe me some money? Additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. Oh. That's all. Glitching textures. They might work in a pinch. Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. 
They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm, I get it. I get that you're weird. Hey, you stole me some now, money. Where is the medicine going? Church. The sanctuary. Gotcha. Oh, hey, you didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were going to stock up. Okie dokie. Uh, camera. God damn it. Hurry and get your supplies. We can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one. What happened? Wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary, but these guys put them down. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers either. Well, for a human anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting. And we won't get your kitty out of a tree. Hmm. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. The miracle bridge maker? This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? Nope. It's nothing of the sort. Huh, so you say. What do you need? Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepherd. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table, then we'll talk. Hmm. How about it, Mr. Shepherd? Um, let me think about sure. it. Sure. Go ahead and think all you want. But we ain't gonna do squat for a bunch of pretty words. I'm afraid we're not like your darling disciples. I think I know where I need to go. If the girl's up here with a cart, I can hopefully score that money from the pipe. No? There you go. Well, thanks. Um, what do we got for cash? I could pay for it. It's just. I want to see if that girl is around. Aha! Yes, yes, yes. No. I don't know. Hmm. Lila, darling! 
then you really found yourself a peach of a shepherd. <laughs> Good mm -hmm. on you. Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, she told us. What a cruel woman. Yeah, well, I'd turn them all down. Nine is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us. We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our melancholy. What? Surely that wasn't necessary. You sadistic harpy. I don't think I'm a harpy. <laughs> it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. We all treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree youngins. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into hellions. I'd get a kick out of seeing my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. Okay. That wasn't as useful as I was hoping. I have to see if I can find our dear friends. I have a feeling I'm going to have to fork up the cash. Boomer. All right. I'll fork up the dough. How about it, Mr. Shepherd? Well, well. Looky here. The shepherd comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. You trust whoever gives you money? And what else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry. Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? W well But if I have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. That's why in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. <sighs> You need to start facing reality, sister. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? No. Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You passed the test. All right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. You fuck up in this town, I'm going to kill you myself. What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. 
We may not look it, but we value our customers. How much do they take? Huh. They only took 2,500. Fair enough. Alright, what next? Um. Feed Power Hellion. Uh, Southwest. Alright. I think I'm going to take a break here. And at least now that I'm back into the game again, I can, uh. Be more likely to return very quickly. What is the hell is that? Um, what? Got any equipments with open skills? I can make it nice and pretty. Let's actually first see. Uh, equipment. I a spear user. Amber spear. Shabby spear. Fire ring. Upgrade my sword. Upgrade that. As worried, so I'll do okay. Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back and save. And as I said, now that I'm back into the game, hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of sessions done in fairly quick succession and that there won't be any more extended uh, wait periods between them. Uh, so thank you all for watching. This has been eShadow back again for Tales of Zestaria. I hope you all enjoyed watching and I again apologize for the wait. But until next everyone, thank you all for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe and post just for future games. And until next time, we will see you soon.